Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. This is available at wreg.com slash weather and also through other social media outlets. So thank you for choosing this as your weather forecast update for the Mid-South. Rapidly running out of month, day, and year. The last hours of the year in sight and we'll be heading for 2017 as we go into later on this evening. And unfortunately, Looking at the possibility of more showers out across much of the area. Forecast bar, the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Rain showers, breezy southerly winds today. And temperatures mainly in the mid to high 40s, maybe right around 50 degrees, which is pretty typical for this time of the year. Southerly winds tonight, mostly cloudy with a few drips and drizzles around, so it's not going to be totally dry for those outdoor New Year's Eve ceremonies. And temperatures should drop only into the about the lower 40s for low temperatures for this evening. Won't be getting all that cool thanks to those subtly winds out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, some possible connected fracking earthquakes over into Oklahoma, but otherwise nothing in the United States uh, area around the New Madrid Fault. So good news on that. More earthquake information at earthquake.usgs.gov and from our own hometown University of Memphis Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Again, University of Memphis, you can get there by going to memphis.edu slash CERI for more information. Delays as of early this morning, cloudy skies, breezy southerly winds, but no delays to report at Memphis International and looking pretty good throughout the course of the rest of the continental United States. Now this is early this morning when we tape this. It's just after 8 o'clock Saturday morning. So you want to go to fly.faa.gov to get updates on what's going on with the airlines out there. Temperatures again back in the mid to upper 40s for the most part. Breezy south winds out there and continuing to see scattered showers not only for the early morning but right on into the rest of the afternoon. Fluctuations up and down on the amount of rainfall but still the potential will exist for more showers out there throughout the rest of the day and that means wet roadways. You can see some wet conditions out there, drops of water on the camera lens from the Sound Concept Incorporated camera from Jonesboro, Arkansas and at the bottom of your screen highway down that direction looking a little bit on the damp side. Cough temp techs for today getting a little bit on the chilly side thanks to those breezes out there so we're going to lean toward a hot cup of java for most of the rest of the day today. Again your temperature, your selection, your business. If you burn your lips or get a brain freeze, that's your fault, not ours. Kennebunk, Maine, a beautiful shot from the seaside inn. That's not sand out there, that's snow and a lot of it as a major nor'easter rolled through the area, but a beautiful view from around the east coast stays. Back closer to home, Oxford, Mississippi, solid overcast, wet and quiet around the area of the Student Union, off through the trees around Ventress Hall, the large red building sitting there. Again, good visibility for now, but at least rain's not too bad. Almost deserted Germantown Parkway. Don't usually see that. Some of our weather bug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams. Likewise, you can see the Germantown City Hall camera. wreg.com slash webcams is a good place to go to for that. And a few golfers out at Windyke Country Club, so not doing too badly out there. And again, on our weather bug network from the Weather Underground System, Mayor OB's webcam from Sam Reichard, former mayor of Olive Branch, showing a lot of cloud cover out there at City Hall. Sunshine today, it's going to be out there. Sunrise was at 7.08 today, 7.09 on New Year's Day, and sunset tonight and tomorrow will be about the same time, but you're probably not going to see a great deal of it because of all the cloud cover out there. Precipitation, nothing to report yesterday. We still have a good surplus for the month and for the year, so looking good there. And looking at temperatures, very close to normal yesterday. 54 our high, 50 normal, 33 normal, and our low temperature yesterday. A record record low that hasn't been broken since 1976 on for today. Nine degrees above zero and a record high set in 1951. 70 degrees higher than that, pushing 80 degrees for New Year's Eve. Not too shabby for the later part of January, for uh, December into January anyway. Showers throughout the area today and unfortunately you're going to be sticking around with potential for rainfall out there through early this afternoon. It might dwindle a bit as we go toward the later evening hours. And again, looking toward the time the guitar drops on Beale Street, doesn't look like we'll be totally rain-free. And chances of rain may linger in the Mid-South into early New Year's Day as we go toward daybreak tomorrow morning. Temperatures into tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 40s to lower 50s, scattered amounts of drizzle taking place. And then getting back into Sunday night, we'll be showing more chances of showers coming our way. 
and quite possibly some thunderstorms as well. Now, severe weather for today, not seeing anything from the Mid-South. Down to our southwest tomorrow for Texas and Louisiana, possibility a slight risk category will exist. Now, going into around Monday, especially Monday afternoon and evening, the Mid-South area will be experiencing the possibility of some severe weather. There is a marginal threat for severe weather into portions of the Mid-South. Again, that's something we need to watch. Now, the main threat for severe weather will be in that yellow shaded area that is a slight risk for severe weather. That will be the greatest possibility of severe weather, but we do not stand a zero chance here, which means we need to pay attention to what's going on, and we'll help you do that with News Channel 3's forecast, so stay tuned for more on that. It basically means it's a non-zero chance. Now, going throughout the course of the next several days, a major Arctic blast will be heading our direction as the temperatures really start to cool down. You'll see the numbers change from green over to blue real quickly and then by Thursday afternoon and evening there's a possibility of seeing some snow in the area this does not represent amounts it just represents potential of seeing snowfall the greatest potential in central Oklahoma but we may see the potential of some activity going on here by late Thursday early Friday something we're going to have to watch very very carefully and we'll be doing weekend temperatures back in the lower 50s today upper 50s tomorrow thanks to those southerly winds showers dwindle areas of drizzle here and there and rain showers possible as we wrap up the weekend and the new year's day heading into monday back to work and back to school for a lot of people rain and thunderstorms best possibility of thunderstorms will be the afternoon and evening hours and we'll be watching that again with a lot of interest some thunderstorms into early tuesday and then the temperatures fall out back into the lower 40s to upper 30s by thursday into friday and there could be that potential of snowfall out there we'll mark that in the forecast for both thursday early friday and into the weekend maybe the possibility of some leftover moisture but again right now it's way too early to tell what we're going to be winding up with so stay tuned to news channel 3 for more information about weather any friends loved ones stationed over here 72 around basra 50s mid 50s for baghdad and najaf a little bit clearer back toward mosul heading into around the air not doing too bad with temperatures again breeze close to doha cloudy around the gulf mostly sunny around riyadh close on says new year's approach the east looking into around the area of attics hours and approaches 60 in herat cloudy skies clear in faizabad 41 46 in kabul and 57 degrees in Kandahar back to South Korea temperatures much cooler back in the upper 20s around the DMZ 30s throughout the rest of the country cloudy on the west side of South Korea and clear toward Tegu and Pusan more weather and want to tweet to me any pictures out there we'd love to see them from around the mid-south sunrise sunset rain whatever you got post them to aonic underscore wreg3 tune in for my complete forecast throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and if whatever app you whatever tablet you've got we've got the app for it download it today at your app store search wreg weather and we'll keep you advised as you take us along with you wherever you happen to go we'll have updates on your forecast a facebook live coming up tonight at about eight o'clock depending on what goes on with the rest of the weather and we'll also keep you updated on what's going on throughout the rest of the weekend as things change as we head from 2016 into around 2017 so stay tuned for more there i'm meteorologist austin Onik. please be careful tonight remember don't drink and drive it's one of the stupidest things you can possibly do so find a ride home Take some of these keys away from them if they have had too much to drink. Do something to prevent somebody from going through a tragedy. You can do it. You need to do it. Everybody needs to do it, so do what you can to help out on that. I'll have more on your forecast coming up throughout the weekend on News Channel 3. Questions, concerns, ideas, austin.onic at wrg.com. Thanks for joining me for the Saturday morning edition, the last edition of Weather Overtime for 2016. More coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online.